You look like you're ready for the beach. <laughs> Not yet, I gotta go change my bathing suit. Here's the thing, July 4th, all about patriotism, freedom, this is a great country that we live in. If you are in business, if you are an entrepreneur, I mean, it has been dubbed the land of opportunity for a reason. In case you're wondering, I did do some work when I first got here to the beach, but yeah, now I gotta go play. And there is no better opportunity than the last like 10 years to the advent of the internet. There is a lot to be thankful for when you live in this country to celebrate its birthdays and honor. probably got some family traditions and, and really have, you know, opportunities to take some time off, take a breath, remember how blessed you are. What you two doing, cousins? It always reminds me of what I do. Like, I love the freedom of being in real estate, of being a realtor. Like, I love the fact I'm running around, yeah, trying to consolidate work into times in between seeing family. Anybody else? having a little trouble of what day it is. I don't know what day it is. But at the same time, I can still get some stuff done. I can still be productive. I can still get my work done and it doesn't have to be crunched in that nine to five schedule. And there's a freedom that comes with being a realtor that if you're disciplined enough, will actually benefit you in the long run. It goes right back to what we're celebrating for July 4th. There's a cost, there has been costs to our freedom and to where we're at now as a country. Over 15 years of real estate, wow, I have an opportunity in my real estate career to have the freedom that I have, how blessed I am in this particular career to not have a limit on income, that I can be as successful as I work hard to. And in this freedom that we have as real estate agents, you need to remember not only this week, the 4th of July, but year round, that you are blessed with an awesome career and an awesome opportunity to have a great business. Yo, Yo. you are actually here. This is a Friday. Neither one of us have really been here this week for July 4th. Yeah, it's Friday. I'm trying to cram everything. It doesn't feel like Friday. All right, I got to finish. Self-logging. This is if what would happen if I did not have a camera person. That mic shaking would annoy me all the time. Is it, is it like self-steadying? Mm, a little bit. So. Here we are. This is my samurai sword and our security system. I feel like I'm getting fingerprints all over the screen on the back. That's fine. We need a selfie stick. That's what we need. What does it look like in the shot? It looks like a talking head. Oh, it's that close? Like what? My, what about now? <laughs> I can see your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just. This I think is I'll just... why I hired somebody. I did see some people on the beach though on July 4th with the shelf selfie sticks. Like the shelfie sticks? Shelfie. Well, shelfie can't get it. Shelves. Okay. If you're looking at templates, right? And I find a template I like. Would you think that if you clicked on it, you're just like, you would just be able to edit the template instead of clicking on it and, and they it give you the full design? It gives me just a white blank. If I wanted that, I would just create a new design. Isn't that weird? Time. I only got like. I have less than an hour to get type, this done. Type, type. I'm trying, but you're filming me and it's weird. I can't type and be filmed. Do you want me to vlog some tomorrow? Vlog. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be kind of cool scenic content somewhere different. So maybe we can integrate some of that. Maybe like when we first get there or something. <laughs> with some friends of ours at High Performance Center in Myrtle Beach. They do elite training, uh, 
elite athlete training and coaching. They also have general fitness pop and that kind of stuff. So we got invited to help them document and do some, get some marketing, get some video shots, photo shots for their own marketing, their own branding and that kind of stuff for what they're doing with the, De An what do we call it? The D'Angelo Henderson Youth Camp 2018. If you don't know who D'Angelo Henderson is, he's a running back from the Denver Broncos who played at Coastal. And I'm an alumni from Coastal. But I don't get my own youth camp. But maybe someday. Does he have family in town? I don't think so. Don't so he's just it. ignoring you? I think he's just ignoring me. You're ready for the beach now. This is yeah. normal. This is normal work attire, isn't it? It's the air conditioner. Oh, they, uh, they're not going to turn on until 10. 